What's good, people? It's your boy Icarus Gray, and I'm here to tell you why Shield Hero is better than Jobless Reincarnation by a long shot. So I wanted to give a comparison between something I feel is overrated and something that is properly rated. Because if it's one thing the anime community loves, it's calling something overrated and then talking about it. Today's target of something that I feel is overrated is Jobless Reincarnation. I, I, I don't get it. I, I just don't understand when you have Shield Hero why you would even want to watch this show. It's so bad. This guy stinks! Look, I, I know that anime does a lot of weird stuff, you know. But a perverted baby man, literally, a perverted baby man? What? Who does this? Who okayed this in the boardroom? Like, Oh, yes, skeevy baby who enjoys breastfeeding. Well, on the other hand, we have now Fumi, who is not a pervert or a baby. He was actually a good brother. And we have Rudius, who, before he was reincarnated, decided to spend time with himself at his parents' funeral. Even later, when we find out the reason that Rudius is so himself, it still feels so shallow. They don't press charges in Japan? I mean, I get it. He had it hard, but that doesn't mean he always has to be. You know what? I'm not even gonna do that joke. But you know what I mean. Stop it. Another thing that differs these two gentlemen is, well, now Fumi's oblivious to affection and really is kind of manipulates. I know it's an easy trope to say that guys are dumb or don't get it, but it's also a thin line between not getting it and like, you know, Stockholm Syndrome. Just leave it alone, that's none of my business. We can see from this season of Shield Hero that even Raftalia has misconceived notions about slavery. Well, I think that Rudius would readily just be all for it. it just seems like he would find a way to, ooh, slave girl. Another comparison point. There's something to say about an innocent harem versus a manipulative one that just seems, what? Now Fumi wants everyone in his team to rise to the occasion of being a hero while Rudy's just wants to rise to the occasion. Whatever's going on here, stop it immediately. Now, this isn't to say that Rudy's is the worst anime character in the world. It's just to say that he's not that redeemable. In a lot of ways, the things that make Naofumi great are the fact that he grows and tries to be better. And while I know that Rudius eventually like cares about his polygamist family, it doesn't seem like there's a lot that he actually learned in terms of being a better person. It just seems like this is a place where he can get his proverbial rocks off. Now, I'm not trying to be on a high horse, I get it. Anime is weird. Still watch it. I'm not shaming you because, you know, we've all seen Food Wars. We're here for the food. <laughs> Get your mind out of the gutter. But what keeps us in the long run is characters that we can kind of connect to, characters that we see grow or empathize with. I don't know about you, but I personally can't connect with waking up in a new world with a new mom and being like, yeah, this is it. On the other hand, it's much easier to connect with waking up in another world that's like an RPG and trying to fight your way up from the bottom because you were tricked or mistreated and trying to be better and somehow realizing that it's not everyone's fault. You just want people to be fair with you. That's kind of cool. Overall, I'm not here to say which one is better, although it's Shield Hero, and if you like Jobless Reincarnation, the FBI is going through your browser history as we speak. Did I say history instead of history? Ugh, lisp. So, which do you like better, Shield Hero or Jobless Reincarnation? Do you like both? Let me know down in the comments. While you're there, hit the like, hit the subscribe, and hit the bell so you can be notified for every time that we drop videos over here at Gray Area Anime. Until the next one, peace.